Hey guys, it's Techran here. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to stream on TikTok. That is right. You might want to set this up to promote your actual Twitch because I know a lot of people that stream with the face cam up top, gameplay below, and of course the Twitch logo in the middle says like Twitch in bio. So I want to show you guys how to stream on actually TikTok because you might be wondering how this is for yourself since you can't find a freaking stream key and they're not handing them out anymore. However, I have found a solution that does not require a stream key whatsoever that allows you to stream on desktop. That is right. So let's teach you how to set this up. The first thing you need to do is of course download Streamlabs. Now I will have it actually linked down below. And once you're on this page, all you have to do is click this download icon up top here. And of course it'll start downloading and you just install it for yourself. But once you have Streamlabs installed, the first thing you need to do is actually log on in. So you're gonna go to the bottom left here. You'll see a little login icon. You just click on this and you're gonna see a few different options. But the big one you wanna click on here is login with TikTok. And there's a very good reason why we're doing this. So we're just gonna log into this like so and it should just set up with no problem, which is awesome. Now, before we get access to TikTok streaming, we wanna make sure to set up our Streamlabs, which is gonna be a super simple process. What we wanna do is go to the bottom left again, go onto your settings. And when you're in settings, what you wanna do is go under video. And the reason why we're going under video is they actually set this on up. So this is 1920 by 1080. So we're gonna make this the reverse. So we're gonna just say, go to custom. And what we're gonna do is type up, we're gonna type up 1080 X 1920. And the reason why we're doing that is because it's vertical that way. And then we're just gonna copy it like so, which you can see is now a vertical canvas, which is pretty awesome. And you can just leave all the other settings the same. Now, another thing you can do is get access to a vertical canvas and horizontal canvas in actually Streamlabs by being in your video settings enabling dual output you'll get a horizontal and vertical canvas too which is pretty nice so if we enable that it should work I've noticed stuff for me it doesn't work but this time it actually worked properly okay that didn't it didn't work earlier but now it works now but if you have access to this you can set up one canvas to be horizontal and one canvas to be vertical which you can see if I customize the settings and the horizontal one to be vertical but if you don't want to do that you don't have to so the next thing you're gonna do is change your output so we're gonna go to our output and mess with our settings here the first thing we want to do is change this from simple to advanced and then what we do is mess with our encoder i would recommend changing it to your gpu encoder since i'm using an nvidia gpu i'm gonna change this to nvic and of course if you're using amd use amd and once you have that, what we want to do now is change our bitrate. Since we're streaming vertical, you could go with just 4,000 bitrate. However, I would recommend 6,000 because it's going to make that vertical stream a lot more crisper on mobile. But do whatever works best for you. Now for preset, I would recommend this leaving this on slow. You can say the quality on high, two pass is fine. And then for actually profile, leave this on high. And then you can enable a look ahead if you want to, if you're playing FPS shooters. If you're not, I wouldn't recommend it. But since I play FPS shooters, I'm going to enable this just because why not? Now, the next thing you want to do is add just a simple source into your actual gameplay here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a simple uh, capture card. So we're going to go to Kitty capture device. I'm going to add my capture card for my gaming PC. That way we can kind of just test this. So we're going to find device. We're going to find my capture card here, which will actually add it. And then that way we're good to go. And we can just right click on it in our sources, transform it and just say center to screen or fit the screen. I'll just do this for the time being. Now, the next thing we want to do is actually get access to TikTok streaming. And what you want to do is go to go live just to kind of start the application process. And we're going to see here, you're going to have a TikTok. You want to say apply for TikTok live permissions. So we're going to click on this. You're going to get an access to this page right here. And what you want to do is click apply. And this is a really straightforward process. You want to say, yeah, allow applications quickly. That's fine. And then what you're going to do is you want to say TikTok will Streamlabs will be approved, which was actually very quick. I didn't expect it to be that quick, but hey, it works. Now, keep in mind, if you do want to have access to the first option for actually quick access to TikTok Live, of course, just go the same process to actually sign in and you will might have to do a manual actual setup. So we're going to do manual for the time being. And once you actually manual, what you want to do is say, what well, course fill out this application. Now we are going to only stream with right now 10 plus viewers. And then you want to take a screenshot of your actually Twitch. Once you're on Twitch, what you're going to need to do is go to the top right under your profile icon, go to creator dashboard. And then once you're in creator dashboard, you can go to the left side to analytics, go to overall. And what you want to do is click windows shift S at the exact same time. And the reason why we're doing that is because we need to take a screenshot of this right here. So we're windows shift S. We're going to screenshot this, which is awesome. And we want to just save this as something we just call it uh, stats for the time being. But once you got that screenshot, you want to go find the tab you actually have open for this. And then what you're going to do is take that screenshot we just downloaded. And we want to just add that actually onto the screenshot area where it says provided. Then make sure to add your Twitch URL. So we're going to select what platform we're going for. We're going for Twitch. And what you need to do is go to your Twitch page. And all you need to do is copy the URL at the top. So we're going to just click on that. Click Control C. Then we're going to take that URL as Control V on our keyboard and paste that in here and click Submit. 
Now, this might take 24 hours to a few hours to actually approve. So what I would recommend you do is just wait this on out. So I'm gonna come back in a bit when it's approved. But once you're approved, all you have to do to check if you wanna go live is click go live again. And then of course you can change your title, what game you're gonna to stream to. And of course you can disable your uh, use optimize encoding settings because I just recommend you use the settings we have set up earlier. Now that you know you can go live on TikTok Studio, I would recommend setting up Streamlabs portrait however you want it to be. And I will actually be making custom Twitch actual icons if you do want one for yourself. Feel free to message me on my Discord. You can have as super simple as I have it here where it says Twitch in bio or you want your username for your Twitch, then let me know. But now all you have to do is hit go live, name your title, what game you're gonna play, and then go live to actually TikTok, and you'll see it live on TikTok, which is pretty cool. If you guys did find this video helpful, you know what to do. Make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed to miss future tech content, because later here, we got a PC build coming and a few other things. So if you don't wanna miss out on any of that, then you know what to do. I'll see you guys for another one. Tech Grant, out.